one seat on the Betty H. Fairfax basketball team's bench will remain empty this season. It belongs to Isaiah Slater. Slater, a 5'11 senior guard out of Levine, was a person of few words, but big aspirations. His basketball dreams came to a halt on October 14th when Isaiah and Fairfax classmate Joanna Georges were killed in a car accident by a suspected drunk driver. The incident occurred here off 59th Avenue and Camelback Road just hours before Isaiah's 17th birthday. Now the Fairfax basketball community is left to fill a void of a player whose life ended too soon. Oh man, he was one of the best. I always had a smile on his face, never down, energetic, but quiet though at the same time. He was, he was the best man. The best way to know him is on the court. Uh, he's, cause that's where his personality came out the most. We were down like two points, about three seconds left. And he just told me, he said, just pass me the ball and it's gonna be a bucket no matter who's guarding me. And we threw it into him and shot a, a fadeaway three from the top of the key and it was money. And he didn't say any words, he just looked at me, smiled and just sat down. It was game over. That was, that's just who he was. Slater was known for the range of his jump shot and the depth of his passion for basketball. He quickly earned the name King Uno for his desire to be the best. Entering his senior year, Ray says Slater was getting his basketball highlights ready to send off to colleges. He says Slater wasn't content with playing at the Division II or community college level because he had one school in mind. He knew in his mind he was good enough to play on the biggest stage. Uh, and I think that was what was most alluring about U of A is, I mean, that's the best basketball team in town. He wanted U of A, but he, he was going to go somewhere. You know, it was just a fact, but... You know, I already had seats, supposedly, saved for me wherever he went. I was going to be right there next to him watching him play. So, yeah, he, he was ready for, for the big stage. Nobody in the Fairfax family was ready for what happened on October 14th when the stage went dark. Yeah, these, these boys are a family uh, for each other, uh, to me, and uh, every time we, we break down a huddle, uh, that's what we say as we say family. And uh, you know, we, we did lose one of our family. And uh, uh, the boys have, have been great for each other and they've been a family to help get each other through it. Um, and they've been a family to me to help me get through it as well. Rather than use the word family in the huddle, the team chose to say something that meant a little more. He's just gonna be remembered as one of the most passionate players we've had. You know, no, no kid at Fairfax has ever gone to a game and not left talking about him. I think uh, he'll, his legacy is going to be one that is going to be uh, revolved around basketball because that's what he loved most and that's what he, most people associated him with. You know, but his friends and family and teammates will remember him as a great person, a great teammate, and a great ball player. Slater's teammates and coaches hope to honor him with their performance this season. Come watch us play. And you'll, you'll see what we're about. And you'll, you'll see what he was about. Practice maybe, putting in the extra hours when everybody else is at home sleeping. We're in the gym and that's where he was. That's where he would be right now if circumstances were different. The team plans to retire Slater's jersey sometime this year. In Phoenix, Lindsay Wisniewski, Cronkite Sports Report.